move on to series 38 now. Um, basic series. This isn't any sort of particular type of series like the WrestleMania ones were. This is just our plain basic series. So let's get into it. Okay, so first one in this series I'm going to show you is the uh, Aya, Aya, Ayatollah. Ayatollah. Um, Ayatollah of Rock and Roll now. This is Raw Chris Jericho. Love this one. This is such a nice one of him. It's not very often you get one of Chris Jericho smiling, which is a bit strange. We've got Mr. Chris Jericho here in his lovely 2013 trunks. Again, my face is going to get very close to yours. So sit back from the screen. Um, also, Chris Jericho's knickers are going to get very, or tights, or whatever you would like to call them, are going to get very close. So sit back from the screen. So yeah, if you can see it, I don't know whether the colour's picking up, especially in here, but they are like a bright magenta purple sort of colour, with um, obviously Y2J in the middle there, and a bit of blue, which is always lovely for when <laughs> Chris Jericho's coming out. Same with his kicks, is... His boots there are a lovely, lovely purple colour um, with the blue in the middle. I'm hoping oh, my screen hasn't gone dodgy on me. Um, so yeah, it's got the purple and of course him sort of grinning like an idiot. So we have Chris Jericho. I was trying to show you the lovely colours of his kick pads, but I'm scared if I get too close to the camera again it will kill itself. So they are a lovely sort of purple, magenta and blue. Um, pur purple and gentle blue. Blah, 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 blah. They are lovely purple with the blue outline with the silver YT Jericho in the middle. Um, same as his trunks, which I showed you there before. He has got a lovely um, smiling head scan, which is sometimes quite unusual for Chris Jericho. I think he's trying to troll us all, guys. Completely, of course, on your normal ones, you don't have the WrestleMania sign. Yeah, the name and then a signature. Um, series, forgot, nearly forgot to show you who is in this series. So we have Adolf Ziggler, Vicky Guerrero, Seamus, Miz and Kofi Kingston. If you can see them all there. Um, nice wee figure just for the set. Um, haven't seen too many Chris Jericho figures coming out recently. So it's just a nice wee basic one to have. I know he hasn't been on TV a lot. Um this past year and so so maybe kids are a bit um but definitely a nice wee figure he sort of looks like the Miz a wee bit um I know sometimes I can get this very wrong but I think the haircut is very like the old Miz do you like the um hoorah Miz that sort of Miz um, this figure in this line is Kofi Kingston bless wee Kofi it's always nice to see wee Kofi Kingston figure um yeah, this one is a bit different. Um, he has obviously got his um, his long trousers rather than his shorts or his um, um, what you call them? Um, I shall say. So he's got his long ones, his long lovely um, trouser legs. If you can see, they are um, black, just with his um, bright green and white sort of logo. Um, obviously, he's got the star on his left knee and his. His Kofi Kingston logo on his right, as well as wings on his boots, because we all know how Kofi Kingston loves to fly. Um, he loves all those um, high flying moves, bit of an acrobat. And then obviously he's got his Kofi thing, um, his Kofi name there, and the wings on the top of the attire. So yeah, again a very basic figure. Um, Kofi seemed to go quite high when selling. I'm not too sure why. There is a lot of Kofi figures as you know. This does have his updated tattoos um, I believe on his back and on his side obviously. I can't see the back because he's in his box um, but I do believe he has his updated tattoos in this one. But yes again just another simple Kofi. Kofi doesn't really change a lot. I would like to see a Wrestlemania Kofi at some point um, in his Zebra gear with his hair a bit different. Um, all the figures have his sort of generic hair where it's back in sort of like a wee mini ponytail, sort of 
Um, so I would like to see, but I am glad to see they're starting to incorporate the the different attire, not the regular attire. So that's nice to see. So that is Kofi Kingston. Next, um, we have Mr. Showoff himself. And if you give me a moment, I might change into something a little more comfortable. Uh-huh. Freaking Dolph Ziggler. Look at this. As well as newer ones. I do have his older ones. But you wish you could. And then, woo. I'm hoping these are getting that. I can't really see with the camera. But yes, sorry. I had to change into my Dolph shirt. Um, I do have a lot of shirts. You know, I always have a lot of shirts. But this one, I like it. <laughs> so we're going to change. And of course, he's matching because he's got some lovely pink um, attire on there. <laughs> you can tell I'm a bit of a Dolph Ziggler man. Sorry about that before. Um, she has Mr. Dolph Ziggler. Um, it's a very nice figure of him. Um, he's usually had a lot more sort of silvery trunks, black boots. So I'm glad to see that they've incorporated the pink in this. That they're going for a little bit more colour. Obviously he's dyed his hair in this one. It is very bright blonde. <laughs> um, so, uh, but see that they don't have the roots in. So it's, it's not particularly like spit an image of him but still very um happy even just with the color and the change of attire really and he's got white boots and um his black kick pads so i'll just give you a wee bit of a close up there obviously white wrist tape and his um lovely grinning bright teeth um scan forehead again another simple dull Ziggler figure it doesn't really change very often but it is a nice figure. Um, I do like they sort of incorporate his personality a wee bit in it. And obviously the attire change now is a big thing. I do like seeing the different attires in him. So um, back for anyone who's looking with his um, signature there and obviously the superstar number. I'm not actually saying the superstar number in each of these ones because I don't really see the point because they keep changing it. And they keep starting again. So um really don't see the point in saying superstar numbers um we will head on now to mr miz um who married the gorgeous marie sorlette um recently um miz, da, 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 da. miz da, da, da. Healy, edit that out, please a sick miz figure i have to say it like that or i'll just tongue tie it um just again another simple um change in attire it seems to be a thing at the moment if they're rebringing out figures again john cena's sheamus's ray mysterio's orton's miz triple h's um most of them they will try and change a little bit um in this one in particular um if you can see they have just changed his attire it is a normal miz figure um same head scan same body type um he is very grumpy looking in this one. I would have preferred if they would have kept it like sort of his image here and done like a little smirk or something just to change it a little bit. Um, but obviously they've gone for the, the attire change in this. So of course we have our, our black attire, black knee pads, black boots. But you've got the gold decal on it. So you've got the Miz um, symbol there on the trunk attire. Right in the middle, and then obviously you've got your gold going around the boots on each side. Um, of course, Miss doesn't have any tattoos, so we don't have to worry about that. The pattern on the trunks does continue round to the back, I know that. Um, so, yet again, another one I can't really talk much about or review anymore. It is a Miz figure, it is a typical Miz figure, and it's just got the change in attire, so... Um, Again, just another one, if you're a very big collector, you'll pick these up just to pick them up at the end of the day. Kids love them. Again, good sort of size of figure. And, um, yeah, that's unfortunately all I can say about that one. And I actually do quite like this one. <laughs> Again, um, I haven't seen a Seamus figure in a while. They've actually lightened up his hair in this one. I'm hoping you can see. It is a bit more carroty, if that's a word. Like, carrot colour. Come on, guys. Um, it is a bit more ginger, I should say. Um, a bit more oranger, which I'm I'm actually quite happy with. They used to do it quite a dark sort of 
dark orange red type and um, it was getting very basic. I do like that he's got um, a new face, um, new face, um, a new head sort of scan with his sort of semi smiles type smirk, very mischievous there Seamus. Um, again, one of the palest figures you can probably get out of any of these sets. Except for maybe when Pages comes out. I am very looking forward to that. I hope Mattel is working on that. I would pay a lot of money to get Pages first figure. Not too far off the Seamus colour. I am very pale. I don't get much. Nia Tower. Um, it is nice to see the Seamus figure. Um, so Nia Tower, you've got um, black trunks, black kicks, back boots. And you've got a white and sort of silver and orange. Or white, silver and orange orange and silver and black sort of um, design on those there, obviously the lock um, saying there on his on his trunks, um, the O on his both knee pads there and you've got a little bit of white and obviously his Celtic cross is on the back of the boots. You can't see it at the moment but I can just about see it through the back of this box. So the Celtic crosses are on the back of his boots as normal. Um, nice enough figure. I like that the hair colours change. Obviously we all know the more face Seamus goes, the ginger he gets, the more baddie he goes, the more dark red hair he goes. Um, so it's nice to see this one. I really do like that head scan. It's a nice wee change and the, the attire is a nice wee change as well, so nothing but good on that. Um, probably the most hardest to get figure in this series, and it always seems to be female figures, so definitely look out for female figures. If you're a, collect, um, if you're a collector, they are one of the hardest to get. Um, I actually didn't get a chance to pick up the first Vicky Guerrero figure, which I'm still looking for. But this one is actually pretty cool. Um, they always do so well with the female figures, obviously because they don't bring a lot of them out. There's not a lot of reruns of these, so you won't see, well you might now see Joe, a lot of Brie Bella reruns. Or there seems to have only been one or two of each. AJ in particular is starting to build up on figures. Um, so this is a really good Vicky Guerrero figure. I'm very impressed by this. Um, probably my favourite figure of this week series, this series 38. Um, they really changed her up from her last figure. She was a lot bigger in her last figure. Obviously had the dark hair. She was wearing white and black. This wee one. She's a lot thinner. Um, a lot more petite in size. She's got her, her black and um, gold top on there. Obviously with her, her cream high heels. Which are pretty cool. If I do say so myself. I wish I had a pair. Um, she even, if you can see here has a cougar necklace included. Now that is pretty cool. You don't seem to get many accessories with the basic figures so I'm very pleased they decided to include this cougar necklace and not leave it out. Obviously her black hair which is a bit more straightened and the gold streaks through it pretty much looks like her picture there which is very impressive. Sometimes they miss out a lot of details. Now her face does look a wee bit dopey but that's just a Vicky Guerrero head scan unfortunately. Um, even down to the bracelet and and everything, the the details on the top, um, very good figure. I know a lot of kids don't want the girl figures, especially maybe a Vicky Guerrero one blesser. It's just so good. Sorry, there's the back as well as I talk on. Um, really like this figure. Definitely a collector's piece. Um, if the kids don't want it, just keep it because it's gonna be worth some money. Um, I know she goes for a lot at the moment online. I flew through those really quick. I must be getting better with this talking thing. That was all series 38. Um, I'd let you know Vicky Guerrero would probably be my favourite figure if that's it. Not just because I'm a female and because it works. Because she is the best figure in that set. And it's the one you're going to look for if you're a collector. Other, other than that, really love the, the Chris Jericho figure. Just change colours and the Seamus one really impressed me as well. Um, the Miz and Kofi are just your normal regular ones and I did like the Dolph Ziggler one as well. So if that helps any of you out, I hope it does. We're going to move on to the next series. I'm going to show you Elite 27 because I think it's one of the most well-rounded series. You are going to love it. Stick with it. Seriously. It's like 10 to 9. But, <laughs> like, please stick with it. I'm nearly done. No, I'm not.